What's going on YouTube? And welcome back to another edition of Uncommon Sense. This section here is gonna focus on some of my drugstore pickups that I've been able to find for a decent amount of money. Now this haul was a little bit more expensive than my last one because I went to one that was a lot more closer. So I went to Walgreens that was literally down the street and I was able to find some fragrances, but they ended up being a lot more expensive. So if you're into that type of content, fragrance, fashion, style, lifestyle, mental health, travel, wellness, you came to the right place. Welcome to the fam. For my returning family, you know what it is. Y'all come on in, come have a seat, because you know what we're about to do, right? We're going to get into that thing after the jump. The pickups that I have today are not the newest fragrances. First fragrance that we're going to talk about is Lacoste L1212. Now, this is the 3.3 ounce. It's a little bit on the pricey side, but I felt like with it being one, a fragrance I didn't have, and two, being one of those fragrances that I feel is gonna be a little bit cleaner, a little bit more citrus, and just an overall nice fragrance, I felt the need to go ahead and purchase. I ended up paying about 50 bucks for the 3.3 ounce. Yes, I'm aware I could have gotten it cheaper on the great market. However, I didn't wanna wait for shipping. I've been buying fragrances and waiting on shipping and them not showing up and or being on back order. So I'm just a little jaded to that situation right now. I'd rather, if I want a fragrance, I want to smell it, I'll blind buy it. This is a complete blind buy. I've seen people talk about it eh. and it was like, whatever, right? So let's go ahead and get into it. Texture box, L1212 by Lacoste. And this is an EDT. There are different versions of this fragrance going around. I did see that on Fragrantica. Nice bottle with the alligator up front. I remember even having these Types of polos being a kid. Sturdy cap. We love that. Nice atomizer, it looks like. Let's check it out. Mmm. It's a nice, clean, fresh fragrance. Kind of reminds me of Varvato's Artisan Pure. Not the same, but in the similar family. This is going to be one of those fragrances that you wear white. Maybe a polo. It's like casual, dress up, dress down type of situation. This could be an everyday office fragrance. It's very pleasant. Yeah. I don't have anything bad to say about it. My only thought was I do feel it was a bit overpriced, especially since this fragrance has been out for a while. I took that risk knowing full and well what I was getting myself into. I believe it's a successful blind buy. However, I could have saved a little bit of money. It has a woodsy back that's kind of coming through now. It's a nice fragrance. Is it groundbreaking? No. <laughs> is it pocket breaking? No. Does it smell good? Yeah. Are you going to smell exactly like a lot of people with this? Probably not. It's one of those fragrances that have been out enough time. The hype has kind of died down on it, but there is a legitimate community that still rocks with this fragrance. So Lacoste L1212 was one of my first pickups. I know you know that I was not going to forget about the ladies. I personally am a fan of this fragrance house. I wear this fragrance house for myself. I love the way that they do grow minds and the sweet smell of fragrances. So I saw that there was a new one to me, Pink Sugar Red Velvet. Now it comes with a lip gloss. Not gonna use that. The fragrance we're gonna get into. I've not smelled this one yet, but I've heard great things about it. We're gonna get into this and enjoy for ourselves. Mmm, smells good. We gotta save a little space. Mm. It's very sweet up top. It reminds me of frosting. Find it. Kind of like the sweethearts, hearts you get for Valentine's Day. It does smell like cake. I won't say red velvet off top. It definitely smells like vanilla cake. So ladies, I don't know if y'all rocking with red velvet, if it's not a thing, you're not checking for Aqualina's red velvet. This will smell amazing on a woman. It smells good on me as well. <laughs> I'm partial though. And this is one of those fragrances you can layer to your heart's content. One suggestion that I have to layer this fragrance with, Dolce & Gabbana, Le Impetrice. These two together, fantastic. Partially because you have the sweetness of the pink sugar red velvet, the fruity aquatic kind of vibe of Le Impetrice. Watermelon is in this fragrance and it's nose by Natalie Lorson. Hello, one of my favorite perfumers. Let's get a little layer of that. 
very sexy, smells like a fruity shampoo, but with the edible gourmand. As you can see, I have a full bottle. This is marketed toward women, but I wear it. So the two together, smell very, very beautiful. And I'm sure the ladies would rock with smelling like this, especially for spring and summer whenever it decides to show up in Chicago. But it's such a sexy fragrance. I've been getting a lot more into layering and I usually don't get into layering, especially as my collection has grown. And I find that layering helps me to explore multiple fragrances at the same time while also using the collection and really getting a chance to enjoy it. That's a winning combination right there. But even on its own, Aqualina Pink Sugar Red Velvet is still a very sexy, beautiful fragrance. It may be a little on the cheaper side. This was 19 bucks in the gift set. Couldn't beat it. It didn't qualify for 20% off. It was select fragrances. I think the ones that were more expensive. Okay, totally fine. As you've come to know on Common Sense, I had to pull a blue fragrance, right? You just kind of had to know. And if you didn't, we picked up Coach Blue. This was part of the challenge with ordering the fragrances because they didn't have this one supposedly in stock. I ordered it in the evening and my order was supposed to be ready that same evening. It ended up not being ready until two days later. I saw somewhere in my order that they were saying that they didn't have the appropriate stock levels. And also too, on the receipt, it was saying that it was 1.7 ounce, but this is a two fluid ounce. I don't know what's up with that. I have Coach, the original Coach. I didn't really care for the Platinum. I see that Coach Green is out. Don't know if I'm gonna get that, but Coach Blue, I had to check it out. I love the blues. I love the fresh shower gel style fragrances. Nice bottom, turnkey top, blue tag. I love that blue translucent glass. Let's see what this is gonna do on skin. This atomizer is not my favorite because it doesn't feel like it's putting out the juice until it already is on your skin. Off top, very clean shower gel style type of fragrance. This is one for spring. I can see this being an easy reach for me. Like spray it on and go. Matter of fact, let it be our scent of the day. Smells really good. The interesting thing about this is I don't pick up any distinguishable notes. The first thing that I would say comes to mind is that it's very crisp and clean. Along the lines of Cool Water, not the same as Cool Water, Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce, in that same kind of realm, I don't believe anybody will say that this doesn't smell good. It's a fragrance that does have massive appeal, even if it airs on the side of being just a smear generic. I got all three of these fragrances for about 92 bucks. I had a 20% off coupon. It did not work for the Pink Sugar. This was just about full price. I think this was in the realm of 55 bucks. And then this one was 30 something. And then that one was 19. All in all, spent 100 bucks, got three fragrances from my local drugstore, AKA Walgreens. I really appreciate you all for coming back again and spending a little bit of time with Uncommon Sense. And I love you all from the bottom of my heart, the top, the sides, and all the way around and then we're going to even pick it up spread a little love on the bottom put it back down and put a little love on top until next time i'm out and i'm gonna catch y'all on the flip side all right